Hey guys, welcome back to another video of WordPress plugin development series. Today I will show you how you can create a WordPress admin dashboard widget. But before that, if you guys missed the previous videos of this series, you can find those out from the suggested videos in the upper right corner of your screen. And if you like this video, please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest videos on time. Alright, so today we are going to create a dashboard that will show an overview of our movie post types, meaning it will show how many movies we have, how many have published and how many are in the draft. That's it, a very simple yet functional custom overview widget. So let's open our code editor and let's create a folder in the INC, let's say dashboard and inside that let's create a file let's say widget widgets.php let's open the php tag and here at first we need to create a function that gonna call a wordpress function and after that we are gonna hook our function into a hook so let's create a function let's say movie dashboard widget let's create a function let's prefix our plugin name my plugin movie dashboard widget okay now inside that we need to call a WordPress function and the function name is WP add dashboard widgets and it's gonna take some parameters so let's call that function WP add dashboard widget now here it's gonna take the first parameter is the ID of that widget that means HTML ID or CSS ID if you, if you like let's say my plugin uh, movie dash widget all right and the next one is the title of the widget so let's say movie at a glance and the next function or the next parameter should be a callback function so let's create that my plugin uj and my plugin uh, movie it's a movie clans callback so we just need these three parameters and then we need to call a hook and we need to add that Add, add our function with that hook so let's call add action and the hook name is WP dashboard setup set up and then our function so that's gonna initialize our widget into the WordPress dashboard widget now the next thing is to create this callback method so let's create that say so movie dashboard widget callback let's create the function let's copy and paste and here we're gonna put some styling uh, sorry put some HTML so that it's gonna it will look like a native WordPress widget so let's close and open the PHP again and inside here we're gonna put some HTML and the first one is the main sorry not and it is default WordPress widget wrapper and inside that we're gonna take an UL 
and inside that we're gonna take some allies and let's add some custom class as well in future if we need that so let's say post count or we can say okay post count is it fine so here we're gonna say like total let's say five movies and let's create another ally give a class let's say post publish and let's say publish four movies four movies and lastly let's create another ally with a class name let's say post draft and draft let's say one movie all right so our setup has been done we call create a function we call wp add dashboard widget within our function and we then finally hook that function with wp dashboard setup hook and finally we created my plugin movie glance callback and provide some layouts so let's check into our backend and see how it looks but before that we need to add this widgets.php file into our main my plugin.php so let's open that and include let's say custom dashboard widgets now let's say require once and my plugin path and then inc uh, dashboard and then widgets dot php so now let's head back into the admin area and hit refresh as you can see our custom widget has been appeared and this is our title that we have provided the total movies five published four movies and draft one movie so this is how we can you know initialize a dashboard widget easily but the problem is that data is yet static so what we want to do we want to you know fetch the uh, movie information so like how many movies is there how many are published and how many are dropped we want that information as well so if we go into the movies and if we see we have uh, four movies and three are published and one is draft so let's you know fetch those information into our dashboard widgets So let's count the total number of movies at first. So let's take a variable and call the WP query class and pass some arguments here. Let's say post type and it should be movie because our post type name is movie and then let's do something like echo mm, query and post count so what this will do this will uh, give us the count of movies stored in the wordpress so let's come here and hit refresh as you can see the total number of movies is four now let's uh, fetch out the published number of published movies and number of draft movies so for that we are going to use another WordPress function. Let's take it as count. And the function name is WP count posts. Now it's going to take one parameter, re uh, required one required parameter. If you uh, pass it blank, that by default it will going to take the post movie type, sorry, post type. And if we specify it, then it's going to fetch from 
that specific post type in this case it is movies now what we can do here in order to get the published movies we can say like echo count publish so it will give us the published movies number of published movies so if we hit refresh as you can see it is saying three movies so as you can see the published movie is three now let's do the draft as well so similar way we can do like echo count and then draft so it will give, it will give us the number of draft movies so it is one if we go here and it is draft one so this is how we can fetch those information in front of the dashboard in a widget but one more thing i want to do is like this one if we click on post it's gonna take you to that post if you click on pages it's gonna take you to that pages so what we want to do we want to make those these text clickable if someone clicks it it will go to the movies if someone click it in here then it will take a user into the published this location if we click on draft then it will take you on this location so let's see how now if we click on published as you can see our URL has been changed to like this edit.php post status published and post type movie if you click on all it's gonna take like edit.php and post type is movie so what we can do we can copy this portion and let's head back into the editor and what we can do we can wrap up with an anchor tag and not like that and close it here and what we can do we can call the admin URL and inside the admin URL let's paste what we have copied so what we it will do admin URL will provide the URL till the admin and then we are gonna add edit.php and post type is movies so let's see how it works so if we go into the dashboard and hit refresh as you can see it is now clickable and if we click on it that gonna take into the movies and in all tabs so let's go back and do same things for the others so let's go to the published and copy this part and do the same thing here as well go admin url like this and let's close the anchor tag here and let's do the similar thing so let's just copy it from here paste it here and close it all right so what we need here we need to say post status publish to draft so that should be it now let's recheck again so now these three texts are linkable so clickable so let's click on the published and you can see it takes to the published tab and if you click on draft as you can guess it's gonna take into the draft so this is how you can create a custom widget at your needs and put it into the dashboard so hope you guys like the video if so then give a thumbs up and keep practicing until the next video comes till then take care of yourself and stay at home